Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team making the watch list video for tomorrow, uh, Thursday, I believe. I'm losing track of days here. Thursday, October 12th. Um, so before we get started, I just want to go over a couple things here. Uh, usually I start at the end, but we also, uh, or I, you know, go over these things at the end, but <clears throat> we've had lots of people join in lately, so I'm just going to take a few minutes to kind of uh, give you guys a uh, uh, some updates. Um, if you're new, if you haven't been over to our website yet, make sure you, that you head over to bullishbears.com. Uh, it's very important to make sure you subscribe to our watch list over here. We send our watches out. We try to send it out almost every day. Sometimes we miss a day, but uh, <clears throat> overall we send it out daily. Uh, so we have, again, a daily watch list over here. We have a trade room right over here. If you click down here on the drop down, uh, we have close to 600 members in there now. We have a free trade room where you can basically go and shadow other traders from around the world um, and uh, really start to learn about day trading. Uh, we're growing and, uh, you know, trying to do our best that we can. Uh, Tim, Dan, and myself have a lot going on, but we try to be as uh, interactive as we can in there. And we're uh, obviously have some big plans to continue grow our trade room but again it's free right now and if uh, you know you're familiar with other trade rooms are out there you know trade rooms cost at least a hundred to hundred fifty dollars a month so between our watch list and our trade room we also uh, send out alerts as well <clears throat> I'm gonna be updating this banner shortly uh, that we're sending out our watch list every night as well as like trade alerts to look for of uh, key breakout and uh, breakdown areas. So uh, again, that's lots of really good content that we're giving to you guys. So make sure that you take advantage of it because again, as of right now, we are not a membership based company. Uh, so ideally, we'd like to keep it that way. So that's why we are a donation based community. So we appreciate donate donations if you like uh, what we're offering for content. Uh, again, in order for us to keep this moving movement growing and not charge membership fees down the road. It takes uh, everybody's donation, just a lot of people giving at least a little bit. Uh, we've also had um, <coughs> some questions, a lot of people asking about uh, coaching. We have some great personal coaching down over here. Tim and Dan are really good with doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. So whether you need basic uh you know, coaching with learning, you know, basics of technicals, uh, learning about fundamentals, basics of charting. Um, you know, Tim and Dan are really good at that, as well as doing, you know, advanced coaching sessions. If you really want to learn how to use EMAs, charts, technicals, patterns, uh, where to look, you know, for key areas of support and resistance, whether that's for day trading, swing trading, or options, uh, we do a lot of uh, personal coaching as well. So make sure you click this tab right here if you want some personal coaching. Uh, come down here, just fill out what you're looking for, your name, your email, um, and just put in a message of what type of coaching you're looking for. And Tim or Dan will reach out to you uh, again, you know, tailoring some coaching for you guys, um, <clears throat> you know, on a personalized basis. Again, we're offering everything for free in our community, but obviously coaching, obviously one on one with our time and stuff. Uh, obviously, you know, there's a charge to it. Um, but again, our rates are extremely affordable and they match up to really anybody in the industry. We probably we probably say we're more on the, the lower priced end of coaching and the reason for that is it's not really about the money to us it's more about uh, helping our followers to become better traders but obviously in return we got to get you know paid like anybody else for our personal time so if you like personal coaching again Tim and Dan will reach out to you just fill out uh, this forum below and um, again you know we, we do our best it's really all about helping you guys again we like to get paid too but it's more again it's not about the money for us it's about really helping you to become a good trader so that way when you're in our trade room or in our group it'll really help you to learn going forward to become a better trader and that's really what the bullish bear is what we're all about it's really about helping you to become better traders uh, and uh, not relying upon some trade alert service or somebody to give you trades we're about empowering you to teach you how to become a good trader yourself so you know how to enter and exit trades yourself <clears throat> and we have the community see that's what we're about we're about helping you to become 
you know, good traders and then giving you a community of support where you can learn from others, have an outlet, somebody to talk to, have fun with, you know, because trading can be a very lonely world, um, a lonely business, very dark and gloomy and, you know, not to focus on the, the negative, but it's not known for being a very collaborative and uh, participa participation based industry. But that's what we're trying to transform and transcend things with basically creating a community where we all help each other out. We help you to become a good trader and then you have an outlet somebody you know people to talk to a trade room to interact with people in a community um you know social media presence just to kind of you know bring bring us all together and so that's you know kind of literally really what we're about we're just uh you know we have a big uh, vision of really trade making you know becoming like the biggest trading company company in the world but not just because of its sheer numbers but just more about the collaboration base and helping each other out and giving each other kind of that safe fun place to go to to make trading more fun and more interactive not all about just you know making money so uh, hopefully that makes sense to you guys but again if you want some personal coaching uh, you can click on the coaching tab over here uh, again, I'll go over some more of this towards the end of the video, but if you're new and you need some extra one-on-one -on -one coaching, make sure you click over here, <coughs> the drop down for personal coaching, and Tim and Dan will get back to you guys as soon as they can. So... I'm going to get into the watch list in a few moments, but I'm going to go over some of the alerts that were set up and see what happened. Uh, we're going to go to CASI. The alert was set up. Uh, see, sometimes, so be careful with this, because sometimes when I'm making the watch list of the videos, sometimes I forget to change a drop down uh, where it might say at or below, but I meant to put at or above. Um, again, sometimes I mean it, sometimes I don't. That's where, you know, again, sometimes these things become blurry, but look at these, these amounts where, <coughs> you know, eventually you'll get to a point where you'll be able to see uh, if you watch enough of my watch list videos, you'll see where I'm marking out key support and resistance areas. Um, you know, sometimes I miss, mess up on alert, um, but, you know, obviously take a look at them. But the overall, the majority of the alerts, you'll see they fire off on a daily basis. You'll see these are the ones that trigger today. Um, <clears throat> but just make sure you confirm them. Uh, again, these trade alerts are not buy alerts. They're not saying, hey, when it crosses this level, absolutely buy. It's just saying, hey, when these alerts trigger, go look at the charts, look at support and resistance, look at candlesticks, look at the EMAs, look at uh, intraday uh, support and resistance areas, look at level two time and sales, and then kind of put it all together and then decide whether you're going to get in that position or not. And that's where obviously lots of practice, uh, lots of practice uh, trading will help you to start to, um, you know, understand that when trading. And again, if you need more help, you know, with trading, uh, obviously, you can go to our YouTube channel, you can go to our website, take our free courses, and then you could also obviously reach out uh, to Tim or Dan uh, through our website for some extra personal coaching if you need help doing, uh, you know, learning these strategies. So it's just, you know, in our one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, we're able to kind of go over this more. Uh, if I was to really break everything down in my videos, they'd, they'd turn into hour and a half, two hour videos every single day, which would just be too much. Um, so again, if you want more, learn, you know, how to get in out of trades, you know, just reach out to us for some coaching and, uh, you know, we can go over this with you guys. So CASI, let's go again. This is where, uh, all to say CASI, I think I put it in an error where I, I meant to put at or above 235, uh, but I put at or below. But as you can see, go over to 235. As you can see, um, you know, it was a break out. So it was at or, or above. But if you had the alert and you were watching, <clears throat> as you can see, 235 was the high of yesterday's uh, candle. And it broke, and obviously, look at this thing. Look at it with this ran. You know, look at this. Just, I mean, it went cr absolutely crazy. Um, it went all the way up to 484. Oops, what the heck? Um, that's annoying. Hold on one second. Um, went all the way up to 484. Sometimes you miss them. Sometimes you have to go down to like the one minute chart to see if you can get any entry. And as you can see, there's a big candlestick that went up here, but on the pullback over, where is it here? Once it pulled back down to the 9 EMA and the one minute, you could have gotten in right up here and kind of rode it all the way up. And as you can see, um, you know, once it formed this kind of, you know, it all depends again. Now here's where your, your strategy comes in, 
Um, you got to look at candlesticks, where you're looking to profit, um, you know, not getting too greedy. As you can see, these were dojis right here on the five minute, which again is in decision. If it fell below this doji right over here, you see it was a little bit of a fake out here and then it popped up. But a lot of people right here would have would have potentially shorted. <clears throat> they would have let this doji form. And then right when it broke below this five minute candle, uh, potentially took a short. And you can see some people did. They get they got. I kind of got trapped here. You see a little bit of the tail went below it and then it popped back up and it went bullish. That's why sometimes shorting got to be very careful. But as you can see right at here, um, you know, the red candle kind of formed here. And then when it broke below here, it kind of fell down and kind of collapsed, kind of like a basically a head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And then it kind of just drops from there. That's where you got to use the one minute in conjunction with the five minute. Again, uh, if you need more coaching, we can help you with that. But um, so, needless to say, this one right here, if you're watching, this one all the way from 235 to <coughs> 484. I completely missed this move because I was uh, focused on another one that I was waiting to totally break out, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Um, totally got distracted by that, and then this thing just ripped. Um, so, okay. Let's look at CLSN at or above 485. Another one, another one ripped today. You can see here. Uh, wait, what was that alert? 485. <clears throat> so as you can see here, this one was kind of tougher to get unless you got it in the first five minutes. Um, it just ripped really quick at the beginning. You had to be quick on this one. Look at this one. You know, this had a whole candlestick of, this is 480 all the way up to 543, which is a big move. Um, and as you can see, this thing just kind of flew, and then it kind of just pulled back, and it didn't break out until later on, and then it kind of just kind of formed this cup and handle, and it kind of traded sideways. Um, actually, this is also a, <coughs> excuse me, like an inverse head and shoulders, if you look at it as well. You'll see kind of like a left shoulder, a head, kind of a right shoulder here, and kind of went up, and you'll see it was a false breakout. Again, a lot of times there's going to be false breakouts. There's no guarantees. Uh, and day trading, uh, again, the dot, the top traders in the world still uh, fail 35 to 40 percent of the time. It's all about managing your risk and keeping your stops low because no one um, can ever be 100 percent accurate when day trading because all it takes is one person, just one person uh, to just mess with a stock and it can make a stock go up or down just with buying, you know, somebody buying or selling at an inopportune time or a time that you think that's not going to happen to either make the stock completely collapse or completely run. So <clears throat> there are no guarantees. That's why it's super important to have uh, proper risk management. So again, this one kind of did, you would have kind of gotten trapped it unless you did the one minute uh, but it was kind of a, you see a big, huge green candle. Um, and obviously, look at this. So this is where you got to be careful with these big candlesticks. A lot of times, where is it? Okay. You want to get in in the break of the high of the candle, right? Look at this. If you got in the break here of 542, it went up to 544 and collapsed. So that's where you got to, like, really be careful. You look at this one minute and boom. Easy way to get trapped. So sometimes you want to wait for these... Uh, after there's a big green candle, sometimes you might want to wait for a small, if it's one that's going like up and diagonal, sometimes it's better to get in one on a smaller candle. It's just easier to manage risk. Obviously, this is you can't really put a stop on something like this unless you have a big, uh, you know, risk management set up. And as you can see, I mean, it didn't, I mean, you would have, you would have gotten trapped on it and turned into a descending triangle, it kind of fell here. And then it, it went up, So, but if you had a stop below this candle here, you technically would have gotten a stopped out. So that would have been a bad trade. Um, <clears throat> so that's CLSN. Let's take a look at uh, PSTI. Not that one. Let's do t -t 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 ARDM, at or above 443. Take a look at that one. You'll see, look at that, another one. So as you can see... Let's do this again. Um, lots of green candles on the one minute. You'll see this one really big one here, another one 441 up to 480. It's another big green candlestick. But this is where you got to be careful again. Um, 
once it broke the high here, which it did, you'll see it, it rated right up 480. It did dip down to 475 before it went up. So that a lot of these ones that go diagonal, they'll do that. They'll break and then they'll come down, break and go down. But as you'll see on the other one, it went up and then collapsed. So this is where you sometimes want to be careful. Uh, sometimes it's a lot easier to wait for a bull flag to form, come back down, and then break out. <coughs> these ones right here could be a little bit riskier. So if they do tend to run a little bit more, you'll see this candle, you know, 478 to 99. It's... Uh, you know, it's a 20 cent candle. It's a little bit easier to have some risk management on one that's going diagonal than like this where it's a lot bigger. But as you'll see, it still went up if you caught it on the one minute chart from the 4, uh, 43, it went all the way up to 499. It's a huge move. Um, so if you had gotten into the break of this candle and you held strong 480, obviously whole and half dollar amounts, <clears throat> Psych psychological support and resistance. Uh, so when it breaks 480, once it gets to $5, got to be super careful. And obviously it gave you that indication that it might be a potential reversal. And sure enough, it did. Uh, but it still moved up. If you traded the one minute, could have made some really good money. Uh, let's see here. Uh, OVAS. At or above 158. Um... Let's just, I'm going to go into the watch list right now. But that's what you want to do is just kind of just everyday practice. <clears throat> Use your virtual account and just paper trade like crazy and then get some extra coaching uh, if you need it. So let me just see if I'm going to keep any of these on there for tomorrow. Um, no. Oops. That one I might keep on. <clears throat> CLS on I might keep on. Uh, let me go over here. Nope. Some of these were trade ideas that I added on. Mm. That was a that was the double bottom breakout. If you had watched on uh, our YouTube video, or I'm sorry, not YouTube, I posted this trade yesterday, um, last night in the trade room. I I had a an alert for a double bottom breakout here, and it did. Sure enough. This is one that went up from 165 all the way up to 202 and came back down. Again, no coincidence uh, being $2, a psychological resistance point, and then it came right back down, but uh, <clears throat> that was the breakout. So if you were watching, we put it on YouTube and on Instagram. I'm sorry, on Facebook and on Instagram. I had it, if you go right over here, last night. That's why it's important to make sure you like and follow our fan page because we post this stuff on there. Um, but as you can see last night... I posted, was it that one? No. Nope. PSTI right here. Watch for potential breakout above 165. And had the chart. There it is, 165. Great move up. Did exactly what it was supposed to do. This is the one I got really shook at, or that I got distracted on to start the day. This is where sometimes perfect technical analysis could really fake you out. So this is what I was looking at for a break above 167. So if you look on our fan page, um, I had it right over here. Watch uh, inverse head and shoulders pretty much, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, break out above 167. Look at this. This is what I was distracted by to start the day. I was watching this first five minute candle, green candle form. Look at that, perfect. Look at this, perfect perfect setup for an incredible flat top breakout that was perfect that was like per just absolute perfection um technical analysis then it kind of dropped back a little which is totally okay because you could say uh okay bull flag or you know, uh, flag pull up followed by a red candle down it's pulling back and then obviously you want to see it go and rip above 170 right this is perfect so right here was perfect and then right here was perfect and you can see kind of pulled back and then what did it do nothing it just went down traded sideways <clears throat> and did nothing um which is just um you know so that's what that's what shook me out i was distracted by that and i missed some good moves this morning and that's what happens you know but hey listen there's movers that run every single day um and it's just um you know, that's what happens. So with this one, 
I actually might still keep this one on. Um, so PSTI, I'm going to take off. Uh, let's see, ARDM. Mm, no, HSON. I might keep that one on. Let me see, OVAS. Uh, no. Seabay. Nope. MRNS. Nope. ATEC. Uh, no. So CLSN, what I'm going to do is now it's perfectly defined right above that 607. And I'm going to make that red just because I like to see it better. And now I'm going to put an alert right or above, at or above 607. There's some resistance at 750. Um, but this is just, it's just clearly defined. You'll see it went all the way up, pulled all the way back down to the 9 EMA, went back up. Now, again, this could easily be a double top. So if this rejects around 6, 07, or below, this could easily fall right back down and be a great short, um, you know, using probably around $4 or so right here <clears throat> as support. So this is very critical. If price does not break and hold, they might go up one or two cents and then completely fail. You want to see a nice close above that 607 area. You want to see the bid go up to the 607, 608 area, and you want to see buyers coming in there. If it fakes you out and you get in and then it collapses this thing's got a long way to fall so you want to make sure that that this this holds this is a key area of resistance and on, then it will become a key area of support if it falls uh h s o n so same thing with this one here right now but now like now it's at the 170 marker after it was 167 so i am going to give it another shot here it is a doji i don't like dojis because they could easily fall but, as you can see, it is a huge area of a potential breakout. It failed today, um, but it's worth keeping an eye on. I want to see it break that 107 area and have it get some volume. Obviously, look at that. Hardly any volume. <clears throat> so, obviously, this could easily fall and fall right down here. Support, you can see the support line right across here, right at the 9 EMA. So, if it doesn't break 170, it's going to fall down. Uh, so let's go to the watch list and let's go here. Stocks between one and ten dollars, minimum five hundred thousand volume, <coughs> five percent on the day, hundred million uh, maximum shares outstanding, potential thirty eight results. Uh, so let's get into it. Again, sometimes these videos are going to be a little, little bit longer because I'm trying to show you guys. I don't want to just, hey, just throw stocks on a watch list and that's it. I'm trying to show you, you know, where you would look to get in, where you get out, where areas of support and resistance are, why I set these alerts, what to look for, uh, watching patterns. So I try to, like, incorporate, all, incorporate it all into these watch list videos. So if they're too long for you, I apologize. But I'd rather put too much content in to really help you guys than not enough. Um, so that's my theory behind it. I'm going to go over here to DOS, make sure that none of these stocks that I put on the watch list have a five cent spread because I don't like them. S means it's shortable. This is DOS. I use DOS. This is the platform I use to trade on <coughs> for interactive brokers. It's about 150 bucks a month. I just really love it because of the level two and time and sales and the trading montage. Uh, but I use Thinkorswim for charting. So let me see. H S O N. So S again means shortable. If you see an S dot five C, that means it's a five cent spread. I just don't like those stocks. I F O N. So this one had a huge breakout. Um, closed below two dollars. Um, let's see if it's a five cent spread at all. Uh, no, it's not shortable. Um, so it's actually one to potentially watch. You see a huge breakout. 
Uh, obviously, for this to continue to run, you want to see it break above 224. Now, um, you know, sometimes you'll see a big, huge breakout, and then the, it'll be a potential multi-day runner. <clears throat> and then sometimes it'll go up and it'll completely collapse. But for this one to continue to run, you want to see it above that 224 in hold. Uh, so if it does break uh, 224, oh, hold on, let me set an alert here. Getting a little sloppy here today. Let's see here. IFLN, that has an alert. CLSN, that has an alert. And HSON, okay. Yeah, so when a stock goes super uh, super parabolic, again, sometimes it might go for two or three days, or it might just collapse. You'll see right there, pull back right below $2, no coincidence. Um, so obviously, if it falls, you know, this is the, the start of that gap right here. So it's either going to go up and break or it can fall down. But sometimes there's lots, just a lot of volatility within here. You see it's also a low float stock. Um, so obviously you got to be very careful with that. So you want a strong confirmation of a close and a breakout above 224. And then if it reverses on you, get out if it falls below 224. Uh, KTOV, beautiful. I saw that on trade ideas at the end of the day. This is a beautiful breakout. You'll see it broke above 269. Now you want to see it get above that 321. These are the stocks I just really love to watch because uh, <clears throat> they're just clearly definable. Obviously, this could easily then, if it falls right here, it's going to want to fall back to 270 uh, if it does fall. So if it doesn't break out and it fails, watch this 270 area. See if that holds and it goes up. So a lot of times you'll see a candlestick go up like this, give back half of its gains before it goes up again, and that would be a bull flag. Or it could just go and break right above. But obviously you want to see it break above that 321 area. You'll see after hours it did, but who knows what will happen. And obviously let's take a look at 350 is some resistance. And obviously, four four dollars would be uh, resistance as well. What's this right here? Four oh eight. I'd put it at four dollars just to yeah, <clears throat> just whole and half dollar amounts are psychological support and resistance areas. So uh, KTOV absolutely going on the watch list. These are the ones I really like to look at. LBIX, I would have let just a huge pullback. Like, look at that. So pullback right at the yearly high. 292 was the yearly high. Look at that. Pullback right at that 280 and dropped. Doesn't mean it can't go back up, but I'm not going to put it on the watch list. <clears throat> ORPN. Um, am I going to put that one on the watch list? Created a new high, pulled back right at $4. I mean, it could keep going up. Um, not going to put it on the watch list. It's just because, you know, like there's a lot of space between here and here. Um, you can get really trapped on. Um, it, but as you can see, nice, beautiful bull flag, and then it ripped. Uh, SRNE. So look at that. See this? If you've been watching my watch list videos, you can see I had these on. They were on our watch list. <coughs> I delete my alerts every day just because I don't like a ton of them. But once you see these alerts, keep some of them on if you keep and watch it. And as you can see, I had this on a watch list the other day. It broke up. 233. I must have just totally missed this because I didn't have it on my watch list or alerts. And look what it did. Once it broke out of this level, look what it did. Three green days. It's, it's due for a pullback at some point. Uh, it did go up over $4 after hours. So obviously you want to see it break that 386 marker. Um, I'd probably use this. Where's the start of that gap? Probably use this the gap right here. Yeah, right at that 200 SMA as a uh, support area. 
So it may flag, so it might give back half of its gain and, and move back up, or it might break. Who the heck knows? You gotta watch it. But um, I will definitely put that one on the watch list. <clears throat> and put an alert at or above 385. And there's some really nice ones to watch. You can see my watch list lately, there hasn't been some of the, it's been a couple days that some of them have just been funky. They're not great to look at, but you know, hey, that's maybe a day you just don't trade. If something's not a great setup, might be a day you just don't don't trade. Sometimes the market acts funky. Um, CASI, yeah, went all the way up. Again, another breakout. Look at that bull flag right here. Turned into a flat top. Flat top breakout on the daily. It just ran. Uh, CLSN already have that. NURO. <clears throat> so, yep, look at this. Perfect setup. Look at this. It's clearly definable where you want to get it. Well, ideally, I'd like, I want to see it break that 257 would, I'd want to keep an eye on that. But I would potentially get in right on the two. See, this is where it kind of could be very confusing because you want to see it break these levels, but then you want to see it ideally get above that 257 as well. But you can see the EMAs are pinching. Uh, it's a potential turnaround. You'll see it kind of rejected at that 235 marker. Let's see here. So I'm going to put an alert. Let's see here. What is that? 230. I might put it at 237. <coughs> As you can see, nice confirmation, potential turnaround. If this breaks and it breaks above, this thing can clearly run. It's closing above the EMAs, but you can see some clear resistance here. So you want to see it break those areas. And then obviously, like I said, ideally you want to see it break above 250s. Um, you know, so I think that's where I'd be most worried, like 250 in general. But there's not really a lot there. That 257 had a pullback. So obviously you want to see if it breaks above that. RGSE, nope, AKTX, uh, nope, you can see, okay, the head and shoulders kind of broke, you see it broke, that left shoulder kind of broke above it today, so it might be a potential pattern break, um, but that's basically like a head and shoulders, <clears throat> uh, so no, I'm not going to put that one on, WPCS, and look at that, such a hard one to trade. These wicks are crazy. T-U-R-N. Beautiful. Okay, let me go back over here. I want to take a look at a couple of these over here. Just make sure. Uh, K-T-O-V. Okay, not shortable. So you'll see if there's no S there, it's not shortable. <coughs> Which may potentially keep it going up. So, ah, here we go. S-R-N-E. Five cent increment. That's why I like to check these. So this one right here, I'm not putting it on it. Uh, and I should have known by these funky candlesticks. They were too, like, almost even. So I'm not going to put SRNE on there. Let me take a look at Neuro, N-U-R-O. Yep, that'll stay. H-S-O-N. Okay. <clears throat> Those ones will stay. So, like I said, I don't like to keep... I don't want to have garbage on the watch list for you guys. T-U-R-N. T-U-R-N. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Perfect candlestick. Clearly definable. It's at its yearly high. Obviously, it could easily pull back and give back at least half these gains. But um, it's it's very bullish. It's clearly definable. Uh, it's got a clearly defined top. No overhead resistance. Um, you know, I'd probably be careful if it fell back down to $2. And obviously down here to the 187 area, probably where that top, where the bottom of that gap area is. But that 223 clearly definable, clearly as an alert there. It's above a whole dollar amount, no overhead resistance. It could run or it could collapse. Who the heck knows? Um, that's why you got to watch the charts. Uh, 
but I like these that hold their highs. It's not crazy. Um, nice breakout and maybe a multi-day runner. It's running a couple days here. It is overextended, but may continue running. PSTI already had, what did I? <clears throat> uh, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna, I mean, it could still keep going up, but I have a few on there. I don't like, I don't wanna put it on. MTBC, eh, INFI. Let's see here. So again, if you guys have been looking here, <clears throat> you'll see these were on the watch list. Look at that. Once it was above 150, what did it do? Went and broke it today. I don't think I didn't have it on my watch list today. Um, but now you can see if it's going to go and continue. Want to see it break 170? There's resistance at 185, the 200 SMA. But look, this is a inverse head and shoulders or very close to it um, ideally you want the left shoulder down here and the right shoulder up but it kind of doesn't matter you see almost a left shoulder right shoulder ahead uh, technically you want this to be up higher but you can say oh okay this is the left shoulder and you can say maybe this is the right shoulder either way you'll see it's basically an inverse head and shoulders potential breakout coming as you can see you'll see the nice base here um, if it breaks through here, I'd also be careful right at that $2 marker, see what happens. But <clears throat> be careful. This thing could, this one could really run uh, if it breaks out. You'll see there's no coincidence that it's like closing right at that level of that 170-ish area. And I would put an alert pretty much right around about in that 170-ish area. Um, let me just double check over here, INFI. Perfect. That's going on the watch list. CATB. Hmm. Yeah. Don't like it. I mean, if it breaks that, <coughs> let's say if it broke that two eighty seven or that three dollar. There's too many, too much indecision. I don't like it. IMNP. No. Itis. Hmm. Let's see what this one. So this one could have some room to run. Let me see if. Uh... Yeah. All right. So maybe I'll put that one on. Let's see right here. If it breaks clearly definable, if it breaks that 320, could have some room to run. Um. Definitely have some room to run, but I want to see it break that 320 area. See, it might be breaking out, might be another breakout. So, one up, came back down. You'll see some consolidation here, potential breakout coming. Uh, <clears throat> again, when I set these breakout levels, use them as uh, if it something breaks out of those areas, use those areas as the new areas of support. So, if it does go and break out. This is a great area of support. If it breaks, make sure you, you're careful and you get out if you're watching the charts. Z-S-A-N. Man, I'm liking some of these on the watch list today. I feel much better than some of the ones we've been watching. So this one... Wait, did I take a look at... Yeah. So this one... Let's see here. Perfect example here. You'll see this is probably on the watch list the other day. It's a breakout above here, 226. It's been going up. Um, but now, this is a really key area right above that 272 area. <clears throat> um, if it breaks above that, this thing could have some room to run. I'd be careful around $3. But it might be worth watching. It could be a kind of, if it goes and breaks there, it could be a nice breakout area. Um, <clears throat> again, careful at three dollars. And let's see here. O N T X. Perfect. 
Fang. Man, there's a lot of these. Goodness. These charts are looking really good today. Um, so Fang. You want to see this one break above, look at that, right at 649 at pullback. So I'm going to move it to 650. Um, I'll put it there. But what you want to be very careful of, so I'd put an alert at right, 650. But you want to be very careful that 673 three area because <clears throat> that's yearly high so if it if it breaks and goes above 650 then it's going to go and form a double top at 673 if that fails obviously that's a double top and it's failing obviously you want to be careful down in this area consolidation but if it goes and breaks that's a nice breakout uh so fang is definitely one to watch i'm even going to put an area i'm going to highlight that as red because i want to be careful of that area of 673 but again another one that might be potentially good to watch ONCS no IZEA I'm gonna try and speed it up a little bit because we got a bunch on there already today Let's see if we can find some good set whoa Let's see KPAY <clears throat> yeah I don't know what that is I don't like that CLRB. Yeah, I don't know. I got to find out with DOS. I'm not sure what happens when it does this grayed out thing. I don't I don't know what that is, but when I see that, I don't like it. MLSS, nope. PMTS, CAPR, VCEL, AERCI, SND. Mm, no, SPEX. Biop. So that one broke out today. Look at that. Broke out about right out here. So this is what I was saying to you guys about support and resistance, right? So before today happened, you would have seen this is yearly resi your resistance. It hit right here twice. Two two touch here, right? So it's like an ascending triangle. Lower high or higher lows. You got a top, and look what it did. Went right above that 950-ish marker. Went all the way above, right? So now there's nothing above it. So what's it going to want to do? At some point, it's going to naturally want to come right back down to that uh, previous resistance area, which is now support. And it's either going to hold and continue, or look what it did. It completely failed and came right back down and collapsed. So, and look at that. You can see that candle come all the way down and just like... Just a huge, huge kind of, just huge drop. 11.17 all the way down to 9.52. That would have been good short. But now it's got to go and break above this level again. But then it's like there's so much indecision in those areas. It makes it difficult to trade. Um, by, uh, let's see, ABUS. Uh, look at that area. See that? Um, how many do I have on here? I have enough on the watches for that. So now... Let me do the swing trade watch list because um, we're doing swing trades for you guys as well. Make sure that you guys are keeping an eye on these. Um, I'm going to edit it for 10, 12 actually. So 10, 12, save, edit. Uh, watch list, so I'll put it for 12. So the watch list is done. Uh, now I'm going to add some swing trades on for you guys as well. These are ones that you could either do options or buy shares. It's basically the same process that we're doing. Um, but if you take a look at the ones we have here on here, LQ at or above 18, 14. So you'll see with that one today, it went up to 18, 28, didn't do much of anything. Uh, am I going to keep it on the watch list? Nah, I don't like it. It's, that do eh, it's kind of a doji. It could go up. I don't like it, so I'm not keeping it on. VVC. Um, potentially it could go up. 
a little bit further. It did hold above that 66.52. So VVC we had on the watch list for a swing trade. That was at or above 66.52. And you'll see it went all the way up to 97. Um, <clears throat> still could have room to run. So VVC could be one that might continue to run. I'd be careful right around that 6730 uh, as the next potential area of resistance. So it, it did hold above uh, support here today. Um, so now you want to be careful that 6730. But this could also now be a head and shoulder. This could be a right, a left shoulder, a head, and now potential right for shoulder. If it breaks above this 67. Um, let me remove this. This worries me for head and shoulders pattern. This is very clearly definable. This is support of the neckline, head, left shoulder. If it breaks above 67.30, um, then the pattern's broken, but I'm not gonna put that on um, unless it, obviously you wanna see it break that 67.34, and then it might potentially run. But that's a big area. I don't like it for a bullish play right now. It's what you have to see it break that this area right here. <clears throat> 6730 and hold above it. Then you can have a potential dollar move or more. Obviously you'd want to use that as resistance, 6830. So I'm not putting VVC on AFL. So that one we had at or above 8363. That one up to 8396. Still going up. Let me see where that puts us right now. 83.95. It's putting us near yearly highs. Still going. Um, 83.95. It could still go. But I'm not going to put it on. I don't love it. BTI. Uh, it's broaching. Look at that. So... This one is a really key area of the 6504, that 200 SMA. You'll see it's dojing below it. If this one breaks out, that's a double bottom breakout. And I want to see an alert. I'll put it above right there. That 6504, you want to see it really break that area if it's going to continue up. So again, clearly defined double bottom, mm -hmm. and you want to see it break above that level for a breakout. If that goes, that could really fly. Who the heck knows if it will? You gotta watch it. AEE, -E. don't love it. Let me go over here to the scan. Swing trade, scan. <clears throat> um, okay, there's not a potential ton. Okay, so there's one. So went, pulled back, went up. So this one right here, I like it because it's clearly definable. Um, that at this point, you want to see it break 24, 25. So I put an alert 24, 25. If it breaks above there, um, then it can potentially run support you know right down here at 2289 but if it breaks above 2425 that'll be the new resistant or new support area level if if it breaks that area sorry i'm tired if it breaks that area that'll be the new area of support so v y g r <coughs> c m c wow goodness it's kind of like an inverse head and shoulder, but almost a double bottom. So you see a left shoulder, head, you could say right shoulder, or you could say a bottom and a bottom. But even so, it did break out right here. Now, 2029 up to 2099 at $21. Um, so if it breaks, 2030 might have a, a chance to run, but hmm, how do I feel about that one? It is kind of holding its highs there. 
towards the end of the day. Pull back a little bit, 2028. Uh, so I'll put an alert above 2030. Um, if it could break this level, it could have a little bit of room to run. Again, if you're doing an option and you're like, if you're day trading this or like swing trading it for a day or so, you're buying an option with some time on it, you can get some time value for it. Um, so it's definitely something to watch. ZTO. Hmm. Another one, kind of a double bottom here, but you want to see it break 1538. Um, right there. Uh, keep an eye on it. I'm not going to put it on because until unless it breaks that area. It's, I wish it was a little bit closer. But see if it breaks 1540. Although it could, and then you got to see that $16 area. So we put. Uh, I'm not going to put on the watch list. CL, no. I might go back to it if there's not much else. VOD, yeah. So I am going to put ZTO on there. So at or above that 1538 level. Again, be careful. If it does break this level, you want to be careful around $16 or above, but keep an eye on it. If it holds above here, Keep an eye. If you get a good position down here and it breaks or right above here and it holds, it might be one to be worth holding to see if it goes and breaks above. Because uh, if it breaks above this area here, this could have really the 16, 1607. It could have some room to run. Uh, so I will put ZTO on. <clears throat> CL, no, ETP. Uh Potentially, let me see here. Um, no, VOD, no, PWR, nope, NXTM, OKTA, uh, hmm. Let's see here. It is a doji right above here. Breaks that. I mean, it potentially has some room to run. It was kind of pinching. Might potentially go up. So actually, I'd put 2884. I'll watch this one. This is one to um, keep an eye on. Um, because it is dojing above here, but it's right above the EMAs. They were kind of pinching. If the EMAs push this up, this thing could potentially run. You know, be careful above that 2930 area. If it goes, it might potentially run. So um, at some point, just keep an eye on it. Again, these alerts, you can just keep them set up and, you know, always address them later when, you know, they trigger. And that's it. All right, so this watch list is definitely longer, but again, we're doing day trading, we're doing swing trading, we're giving you the alerts, you're seeing support and resistance, what I'm looking at. Um, so <clears throat> again, we'll just take a few minutes just to kind of recap here again. If you have not um, liked our fan page yet, uh, head over to Facebook, type in Bullish Bears. Uh, we are the Bullish Bears community. Uh, we title our group Stock Market Community. It just differentiates our community uh, from our fan page, but we are the Bullish Bears no matter where you find us. Um, again, like and follow our fan page over here uh, to get our updates that we post every single day. Uh, every morning we do post trade ideas in Benzinga, the trade ideas watch list, which is the pre-market watch list. So you want to make sure you use this watch list with our trade ideas one, see what's running, and just basically do the same thing I'm just doing in these watch list videos, uh, but basically look at pre-market action. Um, Again, we highly encourage picking up trade ideas um, whenever you are able to afford it. So if you're on a budget, just use ours from now. But eventually, you're going to want your own live scanner. Uh, so we'd appreciate if you click on a referral link and then enter in Bullish Bears 15. You'll uh, get a 15% community discount. We have a partnership with Trade Ideas. It's hands down the best scanner in the industry. Uh, so again, uh, when you can afford it, 
they're the best. Uh, Benzinga, they are probably one of the best news websites for live news that are out there. Uh, it uh, basically gives you live breaking news before it even hits the scanner. So basically how it works is uh, a lot of people uh, will have these, you know, Benzinga up and they'll see um, like breaking news, like let's say Amazon, uh, you know, right here, something happened, a price target increase. So what will happen is like at 844, let's say that was happening in the morning at some point, like at 933 or 940 and the market opens and this happens, what will happen is traders will then be able to pull up the chart of Amazon really quick, see, obviously do the support and resistance, and they could get their potential position on a positive news uh, ahead of time before it hits a scanner like trade ideas. And then what will happen is like, Obviously, they get their position. Uh, more people that get in their positions, it then hits the scanners, and then you'll see it hit something like trade ideas. That's why having Benzinga in coordination with uh, trade ideas is huge. Again, they're both a little bit pricey, around 100 bucks a month or so each. Uh, don't, I don't recommend going and buying them if you're on a budget, but if you want to be a real serious trader, you're serious about trading, then you want your own live scanner and you want a new site. Uh, again, you get discounts. We get you a 25% discount off of Benzinga. There are two... Uh, very trustworthy company. So again, we post everything. We post some information like some pre-market news and pre-market watch list over here on our fan page every morning by 9 a.m. So make sure you like and follow our page so you get the notifications. Um, again, ho head over to our website. Make sure you subscribe over here to our email service so you get our watch list and our alerts. Again, we're giving you an alert service uh, not only for day trades but also for swing trades um, you know, we're making you guys do your own legwork because, again, if you've been watching our, our videos lately, if you're new to the industry, <clears throat> if you think that you want to join a trade room that gives you or a trade service that gives you alerts on when to buy and sell stocks, that's not what you want. That will hurt you. It's very damaging. You don't ever want to be reliant on another company or another trader that tells you when to get in and to get out of a stock. That will hurt you as a trader um, because what happens is those traders and those companies, they get their position first. They call out the trade to their group, which then the group then will go and buy into the stock, pushes the price of the stock up. Obviously, the guru or the company takes their profits. Then they put the sell order out to their people. And then you have hundreds and thousands of people getting in and out of the stock. So basically, the guru or the service gets in first ahead of you. And they get out first ahead of you. And it's just that scramble of getting in and out of a stock. Uh, so when the idea, the whole, the whole secret in the industry that most people won't tell you is... Um, these trading companies and stuff, they, they want you to become but not good, but they don't want you to become too good where you don't need them anymore. Because when you don't need them anymore, then you don't need to pay them the monthly membership fees and for their trade rooms and stuff. So that's why with us and our community, we're giving you a community. We're giving a trade room. We're collaborating together. We're giving you an alert service, but we're allowing you to make your own trading decisions. Uh, and that's actually better for you. Number one, it helps you to become a better trader. But also number two, uh, many times, like we might make an error like again like it doesn't matter how good of a trader you are there are many times you can you can get into the wrong trade and you know trades fail all the time so if we told you hey just get into abc stock today or for instance let me just go over here let's go over here and say um let's say uh let's see go over to an active one let's say uh itis at or above 320 right so let's say tomorrow Itis goes and it breaks 320 and we're like, okay guys, get in. We just got a position at Itis at 321. Now we called in the trade to our hundreds of people and you guys all scramble and you get in at 324, 25, 26, but then the stock just crashes, right? So, you know, a lot of times you'll get in a position and then it just turns. So, I mean, it happens all the time, right? But Itis, we may have called the trade out for Itis, but then one, let's say for INFI, 170, we might tell you to get into itis and then 170 might fly up to two dollars right so we might tell you to get in a specific trade and then another one might be better so that's why when we give you these alerts basically all you need to do is input them into your own brokerage account and then just set it up where you can receive text alerts or email alerts and then do your own charting and analysis and eventually that basically we're giving you options and choices where it's actually better for you as a trader to have your own options and your own choices and not be reliant on 
what we're telling you to get in and telling you to get out of. Obviously, it's in our best interest to tell you to get in in a specific trade and out of a specific trade if we're in that position. It would just help us, but that would hurt you as a trader. So in our trade room, we will put it out there casually, hey, we're in this and then we're out of this one, but we're not telling you, hey, guys, this is what you should do. Um, you know, we're trying to tell you, hey, this is what we're doing so you know what we're doing but we don't want to put it on you to get in the same exact stock and out of the same stock as us because uh, that could, it's just not going to help you as a trader, right? So again, um, you know, join our watch list, you know, subscribe to our watch list or trade alerts, join our trade room over here, take our free courses over here. Um, make sure if you need coaching, click over here. Uh, let us know what type of coaching you're looking for, and Tim and Dan will get back to you. Um, again, coaching can really help. And again, we are a donation-based community. If you click over here, if you like what we're doing, what we're offering, feel free to donate. We really appreciate the donations. Uh, not only do we appreciate them, we, they are essential. Again, what we're offering right now with everything that we're offering and putting together and the watch list and the alerts and all of that, we can easily charge $150 a month uh, for what we're doing right now, but we're currently charging nothing. <laughs> so there's a lot of money we're leaving on the table. We ideally would like to keep it this way. We want to keep it community-based um, and ideally partner with big sponsors someday that would, you know, fund us. But that's going to take a long time. It might take even years for that to happen. But in the meantime, uh, we're like, you know, like kind of like what you see these YouTubers and these other companies that are out there that ask for like donations. Um, you know, when, when company, these people ask for donations, they really need them. Uh, it helps them to grow. And after you see, there's not just one of us, there's three of us with families and kids and stuff like that. So, um, you know, we need the donations to keep things growing. So if you think a lot of people donate to us, um, the fact of the matter is, is not as many people donate as you'd think. Uh, so we can't keep this noddle going the way it is without everybody's uh, donation. So if you're on a budget and you're like, hey, I'd like to contribute to you guys, but I don't really have the money. The good news is we have donation options for as low as $10 a month, $25 a month. Um, and for those of you guys that do see our value here, again, we're easily worth 150 a bucks a month, but we're not even asking for that monthly. Uh, we just you know, keep it down here because we're not trying to be greedy. We're just trying to keep this movement growing. Uh, so we have monthly options here or one-time single donation options over here. We have a whole merchandise store if you like our merchandise. We have a Hope is Real slogan. We have a whole clothing line on that. Uh, we have our Bullish Bears logo. If you click over here, you will see. Uh, obviously, we have our Hope is Real. We have uh, ladies apparel, men's apparel, kids. We have like mater like baby wear, teens, toddlers, youth. We have a whole clothing line, zap, uh, z hats, zip up hoodies, all that stuff. So feel free to purchase any clothing. Uh, like us or what do you call it on Twitter? Follow us on Twitter. <laughs> I'm getting old. I'm losing the, ling losing the lingo. But we do post some quick updates and stuff a lot of times on Twitter. So make sure you follow us. And last but not least, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the notification bell so you get the notifications. Our YouTube is blowing up. Subscribers are joining like absolute crazy. So watch our videos, like them, share them, and comment on them to help keep things growing. So again, sorry this video was longer. I tried to really jam it pack for you guys uh, to really help you out. So hope it, hopefully it helped you. And happy trading tomorrow, guys. Enjoy it.